Hello and welcome back to Poke Openings. This, I think, is the first time where I've done two episodes back to back. Not necessarily concurrently because I recorded the last one about two weeks ago, but as fate would have it, a few days after recording that one I went into town with a friend of the channel, Tim, and I happened to see this on discount and also happened to buy th uh, three packs of Temporal Forces because I'd only opened two in the previous one, I thought, well, I might as well get a couple more, and that's how addiction begins. So today, we are going to open up three packs of Temporal Forces, which I'll put to the side anyway. And then this, uh, da I can't remember which set it's called, it's not Darkness of Blades, um, just one or the other, ones which we'll, we'll open the packs in. But this is a uh, lunchbox collection chest, sorry. So it explains there, but obviously we'll see what's in there in a second. Uh, we've got the back there. So the theme of this is the it's the evolved form of the three starters. I'll start opening this actually. Um, they did also have the base set Obsidian Flames. That's the set. They did also have the base set Scarlet and Violet collector's chest. But to be honest, I kind of like the look of this a little bit better, and I like the evolved. Uh, starters more than their first forms a little bit so you know I went for this and Obsidian Flames has some really hype cards to pull for Scarlet and Violet base I've opened so many packs of I don't really need them anymore put that to the side there and we're gonna open this up so I've only, I've only ever owned one or two of these I think that's a very cool I mean Charizard everybody likes Charizard he's a cool lizard guy uh, oh, these are loose. Okay, I thought they'd be... Oh, they're not... Well, they've come loose, rather. Okay. Um, and we've got... This. So, I'll show you the cards first, then, I guess. So, first off, we have... Quaquaval? Qua 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 oh, wait. Yeah, no, no, this is the last one. I thought for a second this was the middle one. Uh, these are... Uh, I was about to say these are all uh, promos, but they are not promos, although this is uh, probably a hol uh, an alternate hollow, I think they call them. A little bit disappointing, but whatever. We've got Miascarada, very cool. Uh, he also is not a promo. And Skeledurge, my favourite of the three, very cool. Love that artwork. Uh, I think maybe the hollow pattern is a bit different, and that's how you tell the difference, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't think I've had any alternate hollows that weren't promos from uh, Scarlet and Violet onwards. And we've got a coin, wow, which is Charizard, because of course it is. Oh, it's Dar uh, not VMAX, uh, Terrestrial Charizard, right? I won't put it out, but that's very cool. I imagine that coin has probably got slightly more value than the other ones. And we get, s oh wait, hang on. It's not just the packs, is it? I'll put the packs to the side for a second, which we'll take a look at. Um, but we also get a couple more things, I do believe. So we got stickers. That's very cool. I really like that, actually. That's really nice. I'll put these on a binder, I think, maybe. Oh, nice. And we got sticker sheets for each of the, um, of the evolved forms of the starters. Oh, man. Okay. That's cool. I love Skeledurge. Like, genuinely, I think it's a really well-made Pokemon. A little bit, a little bit over-designed maybe, but it looks like an opera singer and stuff. And Meowskarada's cool as well. I do like... Honestly, <laughs> Meowskarada looks more like a Digimon. Um, maybe that's just me. And then we've got... Oh yeah, we've got a mini binder, which is cool. So we've got, yeah, Charizard and then the other guys. I think that's it. That is indeed it. Uh, so, let's take a look at the packs we get, and then I'll tidy this all up, and I'll get into actually opening the packs up, which is half the reason you're here, maybe, or you just really like hearing my voice. Um, right, so, oh, and we've got a code card, which I'm going to put off to the side. So, six packs, they are already falling out. We've got a Paradox Rift, very cool. Obsidian Flames, that's what we're looking for. We've got a Paldea Evolved. Okay, cool. Oh, actually, yeah, they, that's got Lord of the Trainers. Another Paldea Evolved. Full Art Trainers. Paradox Rift. And uh, Obsidian Flames. Nice. So it's two of each. That's really cool. Right, I'm going to go tidy everything up now and I'll be RB. All right. So 
I'm going to start from left to right. I'm going to open them in release order. So Paldia Revolved is the oldest set. Uh, this collector's tin is a lot more modern than I thought it was because it's got Paradox Rift, which isn't as many sets back as I thought. I thought it would be like three or four Obsidian Flames and then like Paldia Revolved or something. Uh, I'm going to say water. Oh, no, it's electric. Right, let's begin. So, we've got a Jigglypuff. I'm looking out for this trainer galleries of a lot of the gym leaders. Uh, and I think the Iono one is still quite popular. Got Tadbulb. Got Giraffe Rig. I really like Dendra. There's two full art Dendras I'd love because she is best girl. We've got Great Bull. A Flamigo. Oh, I don't think I have that card. Ah, Flamigo. You didn't evolve and you were just a flamingo. We have a uh, Paldean Taurus, very cool. Uh, it's the fight, fight, yeah, there's a water and a fighting one, right? We've got a skip loom. Our next is the first reverse, I do believe. And that is Honch Crow, very cool. So the next one is where you could get the good stuff. And um, we've got a reverse Nimble, very cool. I love Nimble. Low Kicks is really cool. And our rare is a Garganackle, who I ran on my team. I love Garganackle. I guess that's the regular hollow pattern compared to... That's the, like, alternate one. So you can tell a difference. All right, on to the next one. Oh, we've got a Skeledurge. Can this give me something good? I've got my backboard there as well, just to put any of the hype cards we pull. My usual rule is EX or above. Um, yeah, but so we, I don't know if we'll fill it this one. Well, we got a grass energy. But hey, we do have nine packs, and you never know. Let's begin with a Frigibax. Next up is a Tanda Mouse. Very cute. Hey, Sprigatito. Let's go. Got a Magnemite. Hey, Pelipper. Got a Fletchin, oh yeah, Fletchin does in this set. Got a uh, Toxicroak, uh, again. Uh, not a Pokemon I'd have assumed is in this set. Ah, oh, that's a really cute Slowpoke. I don't think I've seen that one before. Or maybe I have and it's just been a while. Right, this is our last chance to train a gallery and we're not going to get it. But we do get Grafaii, who actually was another Pokemon I ran in my team. I really like Grafaii. And our oh, oh, let's go! Yo, okay, we got Chien Pao EX, and I want to say it is a secret rare. Very cool. Okay, wow. Well, I was gonna say, ah, oh, okay, this, you know, these two packs haven't been great, but that is amazing, right? I'm gonna go sleeve this, not put it in the backboard. All right, there you go. Wow. Well, that was pretty darn good. Now, I know a lot of these sets do have a lot of secret rares. So, pulling a secret rare isn't quite as crazy as it used to be in previous sets, but I will absolutely take that because that artwork is so clean. It's very simple. You know, I'm going to say steel. Nope, electric. All right. So, on to Obsidian Flames. We've got a Vulpix. Very cool. We've got a Froki. Very cute. Got a Darumaka. A Buizel. Oh, yeah, I forgot about, I forgot about Buizel. Probo Pass, I think we pulled on the last episode, right? Uh, we got a, ooh, very cool looking Dlinoon. Oh no, I thought Skarmory was reversed then, it's not. What is reversed though? Is this Lechonk? Is, well, his ears usually that, his ears are very like perky. I don't remember Lechonk's ears looking like that, but okay. We've got a Salandit, ooh, man, that's a cool looking Salandit. Probably a meal maybe, because, you know. And our rare is Entei, which I'm pretty sure is like my third Hollow Entei from this set. I uh, I keep buying packs in the hopes to get like the cool trainer gallery stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I I I mean, I'm not far off getting a, pl a play set of those uh, Hollow Entei's, which you know isn't bad unless it's a bad card, in which case I wouldn't really want a play set, I guess. But hey, I'm going to say Fighting Energy for this one. No, Steel. All right, then. Let's begin our final Obsidian Flames pack with Rhyme. Hey, everybody's favourite rapping gym leader and only rapping gym leader, so it's not much of a competition. We've got Rockruff. 
Hey, Wiglet! I did get uh, the shiny version from Paldean Fates uh, in the last episode. Got a shuttle. We've got a belly bolt! I think this is my first belly bolt card. I, I love belly bolt. It's so cute. Uh, we've got Flamigo again. Obviously, different art because different set. We've got a bronze on. Ah, Fungus! Hello, Fungus. He's so cute. Reverse Fungus. We've got a reverse toad screw. I don't ever think I have a toad screw card either, actually. I was going to say, well, we're not getting trained in the gallery, but yeah, that's, I'll take that. And our rare is Toxtricity. That's pretty cool. I'm glad to see he's back. Because um, some Pokemon, they do seem to kind of forget about for a couple of generations and then go like, oh, oh yeah, this, I guess. Right, I'm going to tidy everything up, BRB. All right, we are back for some Paradox Rift. Two packs of this. Um, I think this is a set I haven't opened much of either. Definitely, I've, I've opened a fair few. I was this. I I want to say, maybe it's Paradox Rift. I opened for the Advent card in a fire energy. Nope, dark man. My predictions have been not great recently. All right, first up is a palm. Then we've got a Galvantula. Oh, it's very cute. A Mantike, also very cute. A Pansage, all right then. Uh, ooh, nice, we got a Techno Radar, which looks like one of those like bubble watches that you get as a kid, but like with a slap bracelet. Oh my God, this is, doesn't look like it's from the future, it looks like it's from the 90s. We've got a Counter Catcher, very cool. Ooh, Masquerade, that's, that's a cool looking Masquerade. I used this in Oras uh, before I realized how absolutely terrible it was. We've got a Veluza. Oh, yeah, 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 that's the... That isn't Scarlet Violet, right? Or was it? No, it's not from Sword and Shield. It is Scarlet Violet. Ooh, we've got a Wiglet. That's so cool. I really... <laughs> what a derpy yet awesome card. That's like... That's genuinely really cool. I love that design. And we have a Iron Moth uh, Hollow which I think we pulled in the last video as well. So, so far we're five to one in terms of bad packs to good. Well, not bad packs, average packs, I guess. It's it's rare that I'll open a pack and be like, ah, nothing there is, you know, anything of value. Um, I don't tend to open like a ton of packs from a lot of sets, especially these days, so, I usually will end up with like at least an uncommon I've never seen or something. I'm going to say electric energy. No, water. Right. This is our last Paradox Rift pack. Oh, Alekid! God, I, I forgot about the babies. Yeah, Alekid. We've got a Tinker, Tinker, Tinker Tongue, Tinker Tough. Sorry. We, oh. Trubbish, you, you good? You, wow. Um. He ain't looking good. Oh, hang on, I pulled an extra one. We've got a Crustle. Cool. And then the Durant that we saw just now. Oh, we got a Technical Machine. Turbo Energize. Very cool. Our first reverse is a Wug... No, it's not a reverse at all. Sorry, I thought it was. It's the way it caught the light. Oh my god, we've got a Pansage reverse. Cool. We've got a Nicket reverse. Jesus Christ. Okay, this might... This might be a pack that I say is bad. And we've got an Evil Towel, which I don't think I have. Um, a solid like four out of 10 pack, I would say. Not not a horrible pack, but you know, not amazing. All right, so we're down to three packs. So it's been six packs and we have had one, one thing that it is above hollow. Uh, it is a secret rare and it is a really cool card. So I mean, no complaints, but hopefully Temporal Forces can maybe pull it back. Just just give me one kind of cool thing. Uh, fighting energy. Nope. Fire. Right. Okay. Let's begin with... A, ooh, Tortodile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did we, did we pull a Tortodile last episode? I can't remember. Dealing. A Pidov. We got a Pineco. A Shiftry. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that Shiftry. Oh! Bianca's Devote. Good Lord. Bianca. Okay, no, not a not a trainer I thought I'd see. <gasps> Yo, and Reuniclus! Oh my god, okay, this is an amazing pack already. He is my favourite Pokemon. 
I love Reuniclus. I didn't even know he was in this. Okay. Hey, we got Forestress. Look at him. Look at that boy. No, first reverse. Oh, uh, second reverse is a Crocano. I'll take that. I'll take that. So, just need a Fraligator and we got the whole line. Wow. <laughs> what a prediction. Okay, dude, that's really cool as well. I am digging that out. Okay, well, that was a very Totodile themed pack, I guess. Can we get a Chikorita and a Cyndaquil? I don't think that's... That's not how many of the sets work anymore, is it, really? The... They kind of, they will throw some throwbacks, but it'll, it'll not be the whole generation's worth of starters. It'll be, like, just the one. Uh, I'm going to say electric again. <gasps> Yo! Okay, what does this mean? That means I had a 1 in 16 chance, and I got correct. We've got a Bramblin. A Graffarig. Second one of the video, actually. That's pretty rare. Got a Roselia. Oh, it's Grafaii, uh, not Grafaii, Firigiraf. That's why, because that's in the game now. Yeah. We got a Cutie Fly. Ooh, nice. We got Iron Valiant. Okay. Didn't expect to see him as a non like um, hollow slash, you know, EX or whatever, but still. Ooh, Sharpedo. Very cool. Got a Metagross. Very cool. Our first reverse is a Roly Coley. Our oh, is a second is a Pikachu. I don't think I've no. Have I not pulled Pikachu from this set then? Maybe it's another set I pulled the Pikachu from. Man, his tail is so long. Although, well, it's perspective, isn't it? And we have an Iron. V oh, an Iron Valiant. Okay, so we got the Hollow Iron Valiant and the non-Hollow Iron Valiant. Fair enough. Well, I tell you what, we're not going to be filling up this backboard. Can we end though on something? Some kind of company. Good luck at him. He's on his own there. Well, I guess we'll see. You guys will know. Actually, you can technically skip forward right now. Uh, I wouldn't recommend, though. I'm going to say fire for the last one. No, it's fighting. Okay. Got the first two letters right, though. Let's begin with a Beldum. Ooh, Breloom! Let's go. I love Breloom. Man, they're bringing a lot of Pokemon I really like in this set. So, well done. They're doing something. we got a Roly Coley. We've got a Heatmore. Ooh, an Iron Treads. Okay. Pretty cool. We've got a Buddy Buddy Puffin. Very nice. A Lycan Rock Day Form, I want to say. Our oh, first reverse is Sharpedo. Can we guess something kind of cool for the second reverse? It depends how you define it. Um, Metang is cool, I guess. And our f is an honor. For a second, I thought I said EX, but it didn't. It was just shiny. We've got Miraidon, which is from the future, which I believe I already have. Or do I have it from a different set? Maybe. Well, that, I mean, the, the end of this video is going to be really easy. Instead of, like, changing camera angles to show you everything, I will just hold up the one... Above hollow card I got, which, uh, I mean, I I really like Chen Pao. Uh, you know, he's, he's got a really cool ferret weasel kind of thing going on. And I really like the artwork. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I will be doing more poke openings along with other trading cards and other statues and stuff in the future. So if you want to stick around for that, uh, feel free to, but you don't have to. Uh, but I thank you anyway for your time and your patience. And until next time... Goodbye.